something big is coming this December, and no, it's not Santa. NASA has announced that a giant space rock will be passing close to Earth in December, but assures everyone that the flyby is friendly and not a cause for concern. 3200 Phaeton is an asteroid with a diameter of three miles that has been labeled potentially dangerous because its orbit crosses paths with the Earth. Phaeton will be the closest to Earth on December 16th, when it is projected to be within 6.4 million miles or 27 lunar distances of our planet. It hasn't gotten this close to us since 1974 and isn't expected to swing by again until 2093. Phaeton may be named after a Greek demigod who nearly destroyed Earth, but those worried about a catastrophic collision can rest easy since the giant rock is in a relatively stable orbit and isn't a threat. Astronomers believe the asteroid to be the parent body for the annual Geminid meteor shower, which happens when Earth passes through Phaeton's debris field. Speaking of asteroids... Apocalyptic asteroid nearly misses Earth. Earlier this month, a Chinese telescope captured images of an asteroid headed toward Earth. The asteroid was recently observed by the Purple Mountain Observatory in Nanjing. Named 2009 ES by the Minor Planet Center, the asteroid is one of 1,640 bodies identified as on a potential collision course with Earth. Luckily, this one wasn't. The object ultimately missed us by a distance of 18.8 .8 times of the distance between the Earth and the Moon. But should an asteroid of its size, measuring around 10,000 meters across, collide with Earth, the impact would be the equivalent of 3 billion atomic bombs similar to what scientists believe could have killed the dinosaurs. Hail, interstellar traveler! NASA says this asteroid is our solar system's first interstellar visitor. The asteroid was discovered by the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System in Hawaii on October 19, 2017. Research published in the journal Nature says it is the first interstellar object to enter our solar system and will travel inside it for over a year. Scientists speculate the asteroid is 400 meters long and around 40 meters wide. A lot about it is unknown, but the asteroid could be made up of materials like metals or rocks and is likely to be billions of years old. NASA says the asteroid will exit the solar system in January of 2019 after passing through Saturn's orbit. It will next head for the Pegasus constellation. So in short, it's just passing through and isn't stopping by Earth to say hi. Thanks, Spock. California startup plans to mine asteroids for profit. A startup company from Silicon Valley, California, recently announced that it plans on launching a precursor mission in 2017 and will commence its first full-blown asteroid mining mission by 2020. The company wants to mine asteroids for water, carbon and other elements, precious metals and even raw materials to build in space. It will begin with extracting water. Deep Space Industries plans on sending a small spacecraft named Prospector 1, weighing 50 kilograms when fueled, to low Earth orbit on an experimental mission in 2017. Once the first campaign is complete, Prospector 1 will hitch a ride on low Earth orbit, then orient itself toward an asteroid and jet propel itself to its target. Once near the asteroid, Prospector 1 will map the surface and subsurface of the asteroid to locate exploitable resources. Prospector 1 will then attempt to land on the asteroid. There, Prospector 1 will mine water, which it will use as fuel. The craft expels superheated water vapor to generate thrust. Asteroids will be selected by a group of experts. If successful, the first mission will pave the way for future spacecrafts to use asteroid water as refueling stations. Asteroid apocalypse? Nah, we'll pass. Seems the folks at NASA are worried about a giant asteroid bringing about humanity's end and have unveiled plans for what to do about it. Asteroids crash into the Earth regularly, but they're usually small enough that they burn up in the atmosphere. However, bigger space rocks could cause significant damage if they were to hit the planet. To try to prevent such a calamity, NASA has designed the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. Its target will be the asteroid system Didymos, which consists of a smaller rock orbiting a much larger companion. NASA's plan is to launch a refrigerator-sized spacecraft at the smaller Didymos B when the asteroids approach Earth in October 2022. The spacecraft will be traveling at 3.7 miles per second when it hits the asteroid. The collision is meant to eventually shift the rock's orbit by changing its speed, a tactic known as the kinetic impactor technique. 
Scientists on Earth will then study the impact and effect of the test on Didymos B to determine if the strategy is a feasible way to save the planet from more dangerous asteroids. NASA gets slingshot power-up in most epic game of asteroids ever. If Hollywood's taught us anything, it's to avoid asteroids at all cost. Unless you're Bruce Willis or this beastly spacecraft. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft will fly by Earth on Friday as part of its mission to investigate the Bennu asteroid. The spacecraft will slingshot around Earth and infuse the planet's orbit to get an 8,500-mile-per-hour speed boost to help it on its way to Bennu. The Bennu asteroid was discovered in 1999. Its 500-meter size is taller than Taipei 101, one of the tallest buildings in the world. NASA believes investigation of it may lead to a deeper understanding of some of the universe's most fundamental questions. Or it might lead Thanos, Frieza, and Doomsday right to us. Yikes.